Hey guys, just want to do a quick video covering this tool. Uh, it's a, called a 90 degree pick tool or something like that. And uh, I only started using it recently and I realized I've been an idiot for not using it for so many years and it really belongs in any do-it-yourselfers uh, toolbox. So um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it and then I'll talk for a minute. So here's an old AC unit out of my car and uh, let's say I had to replace the circuit board or something like that. This thing's held together by uh, three clips on each side and normally I would take a small flathead screwdriver or something like that to it and I would just totally butcher it, maybe break some clips and uh, it would take me a long time to do. Now as you can see this video, or sorry, <laughs> with this tool, very little effort, and uh, I didn't risk damaging anything. It was super quick, and uh, after using this tool, I realized, like, oh my god, this is the tool that I'm supposed to be using to do this sort of stuff. Um, so I'm going to talk a bit, and I'll. I just want to show another demonstration. So. Anytime you'd instinctively use a flathead or something like that uh, to accomplish a task, consider this tool seriously. So for tabs like this, uh, for clips, uh, like wire connectors and harnesses that have uh, tabs that are hard to push in to get everything to release, use this tool. Um, I was trying to, I replaced the dashboard in my car and I had to take the airbags out and the uh, connector clips for the wiring for the airbags are very, uh, weird to, to deal with and this thing worked amazing in fact that's how i discovered uh, what to do with this tool i had it sitting in my toolbox for probably like i don't know a decade and i've probably abused its purposes so i just want to point out why this works so good is when you use a flathead you're get gouging in there and you're kind of just uh it it's not even doing what you're trying to get it to do it almost acts like a wedge if you could imagine that it technically put more pressure in there and not be helpful and you're trying to force things out. With this 90 degree pick tool I'm getting right into the uh, where the two pieces of the clip connect. I'm pushing back which uh, separates them from each other and uh, it pulls away. It pull it like literally starts pulling itself its connection apart just by this this you know, I'm going in and I'm just doing that and it starts pulling itself away. I can't believe how simple this is. I'm going to go buy like a million of these because I'm, I'm, I'm going to lose it someday. So it's going to save you time and you're going to do a better job. This is like the, as far as I'm concerned, unless somebody can point out a better tool to use, this is the proper way to do this. All right. Thanks.